Here's how to start a gaming channel in 2023. Strategy one, how often to upload. If you produce good gaming content, your channel will get traction. Now, what's good content since that's subjective and how often should you upload? Well, good simply means it gets its intended audience, which in this case are gaming fans. To click and watch your videos and keep them on YouTube, ideally on more of your content. I'll talk a bit more on how to do that in a second. But first, how much should you upload? No, you don't need to upload daily videos to grow a gaming channel in 2023. If you can produce high quality content, which we'll go over how to do that in a second, you only really need to upload like once a week. Strategy two, only play one game on your channel. As a gamer, you probably enjoy multiple games. However, However, I encourage you to only focus on one game to upload on your channel, ideally whatever your favorite game is in 2023. You could still play other games for fun, but I would recommend only focusing on one game for your channel. You'll notice many of the top gaming channels like Mr. Beast Gaming, Lucky Maker, LS Meme, and Not do this. Now you may be saying some big channels play multiple games. While that's true, many of them started off by just playing one or a couple games. Here's why I recommend on starting off with just one game. When one of your gaming videos take off, your entire channel will be benefited by it because you have so many videos of that game. Because of this, you'll get a higher viewer to subscriber ratio since more of your viewers want to watch more of that game and that would help boost your videos in the algorithm. Strategy number three, how to make your content. If you're gonna be recording your gameplay, I recommend you using OBS Studio because it's completely free and getting a cheap USB mic like the Blue Yeti Nano. I would also suggest you getting a face cam for your gaming videos. You could start off with a webcam like the Logitech C922X Pro, which has great quality and then eventually when you can afford it, get a DSLR like a Panasonic GH5 and then connect it to your computer using an HDMI link or a CamLink 4K, which essentially turns it to a really high quality webcam. Now you might be asking, do you really need to show your face if you're running a gaming channel? The answer is no, you don't need to because Matpar actually runs a channel with over 1 million subscribers and he's not even in the gaming niche. And he does all that without even showing showing his face. However, for gaming channels, I would recommend it, especially if other channels that play the same game also show their faces. You'll notice that some content like gaming walkthroughs and the channel Top 5 Gaming don't show their faces. It all depends on the content you make, and you need to do a little bit of more research on the game that you want to play to decide whether it's a good choice to show your face or it's not. Then I do recommend that you edit your videos, and some free editing softwares are OpenShot, Shotcut, and hit Film Express. And my favorite paid editor is Power Director. I recommend you editing your videos similar to other gaming videos that are doing well and playing the same games as you. Don't directly copy them, but you'll notice that a lot of channels don't have intros, they do a lot of fast cuts, and they grow really fast. That is a great sign of what's working and you should incorporate as much as you can into your videos as well. Strategy number four, make sure there's demand for your game. To make sure you're not wasting time with your channel given that you wanna make it grow and potentially earn money from it, I recommend that you do a bit of marketing research to make sure you're not playing super obscure games. Games that will hurt your chances of getting views and subscribers. To do this, simply go on YouTube, search up the game you're thinking of playing, and make sure there are several videos of people playing this game with over 100,000 views. And I would make sure that there are videos consistently being uploaded with that game that are also getting a lot of views. All you have to do is click the filter by the search bar and select most viewed in the past month to make sure videos are continuing to go up about your game. And that is an evergreen game, like Minecraft, for example. Now you might be asking, are games too saturated and is there too much competition for a game, like Minecraft, for example? That's a great question and that'll be answered in strategy number six. But for now, let's go to strategy number five, how to find videos to make. Here's how to never run out of ideas for your gaming channel. You can use this checklist to get ideas from. Other popular videos, keyword research, new gaming features. For other popular videos, you should subscribe to some of the biggest channels that also play the game you're playing and try to recreate some of the videos that they make, but in your own version. For keyword research, you could use tools like vidIQ to search keywords relating to your game and then sorting by the overall top score which will show you keywords that are high search volume and low competition that you can make videos on and finally you can join communities from the game that you're playing like discord reddit and other online forums that'll help you learn about big updates that are coming to the game that you're playing so you can make videos about those also by doing this you'll see what the community at large is interested in remember this in order for your gaming channel to do good, you need to provide value. And value can be in the form of educational value or entertainment value. Walkthrough videos and teaching people how to do stuff in a game would be educational value. Entertainment value would just be doing fun stuff in the game and making funny moments. Both can work and definitely keep in mind that you should be providing value to the end viewer. Strategy number six, 
how to determine if there's too much competition. Now you're probably thinking about saturation and if it's even possible to grow a channel in a game that's already blown up. Here's what most people don't understand about competition. Saturation up until a certain point is a good thing because it can help you get into the suggested tabs of other popular creators. However, there could be such a thing as too much saturation if you're not producing content that's better in audience retention and CTR than the competition. Everyone talks about competition, but what most people fail to keep account of is that even though competition grows, so does viewership. So there's gonna be a lot more people who are watching YouTube now in 2023 than there are in 2010. And then there's also gonna be a lot more competition in 2023 than there is in 2010. And out of all the competition, how many people actually produce good videos that perform well? And how many of them actually know what they're doing and applying good strategy to it? The number gets smaller and smaller. And if you continue to produce videos better than the competition, it doesn't matter how much competition there is. So this is what I recommend that you do. Watch some of the top gaming channels that play the same games that you wanna play and ask yourself this honestly. Can I produce content similar to this in quality? You need to be really honest with yourself when you ask this because if you can't, then you might not be able to compete. Now you can always learn how to make these videos over time. Just look at some of the first videos on top gaming channels and realize they all start from somewhere. However, their first videos aren't usually the ones that go viral. If you really wanna run a big gaming channel and you really have to want it, then you're gonna to have to upload a lot. And I mean a lot because it's gonna take a while before some videos gain traction But once they do you'll have a huge backlog of videos that you already made and that'll help you grow exponentially I'll talk about how to do that and some of these additional secrets before we get to the secrets subscribe if you found this useful Now here are three secrets to doing this right number one Fair use. Video games are copyrighted works, and you're probably wondering how do I avoid the copyright problems while still playing the games on YouTube? Most video game publishers provide licenses because they realize it's really good advertising to get a bunch of people playing your games online. I recommend going into the terms and conditions of the games that you're thinking of playing and finding out if you can play their games on YouTube for commercial use, meaning you can make money off your videos. Just search on Google things like, can I stream this game? Can I make money off videos about this game? And similar terms to find out if the game creator allows this or not. Number two, making good thumbnails and titles. Even if you have the best video in the world, if people don't click on it to watch it, it won't get many views. The way we can increase your chances of people clicking on your video is by having great thumbnails and titles. For your first 30 videos, I recommend modeling what has worked already in your niche and creating similar titles and thumbnails. Again, this does not mean copying them exactly, but doing the best practices that are working. You can use tools like Canva and Snappa to make thumbnails really easily. Number three, how to grow your gaming channel fast. The key to growing your channel fast is to have an optimization loop in place that ensures that your channel continues to do better over time. First things first, we don't want to be guessing from the beginning and uploading random Minecraft Let's Play videos that have no voiceover or editing. We want to be modeling what works for about our first 33 videos. If we notice the competition's making 10 minute videos successfully, I recommend that's where you start also. Then we want to do a deep dive into our analytics once we have 33 videos uploaded onto the channel. We want to first take Take a look at audience retention rates to see where people are watching your videos and where they're dropping off. If you notice people are dropping off during your long intros, then I recommend you shortening your intros and that'll help improve your channel a ton. Next, look at your click-through rates and see what type of thumbnails are achieving the best performance. Make sure that you have at least 4,000 impressions on individual videos to make sure that you're getting statistically significant data. But don't worry if you don't have this yet because it takes some time for YouTube to test your content. But they will. And if it performs good, then they'll push it more. Then upload another batch of 30 videos with these improvements. Keep on repeating and your channel will do better over time. Because now you have an actual system opposed to just guessing. Now check out this video to see the best tips in all of YouTube from growing your channel from scratch. This is how you actually get subscribers and views in any type of channel fast. And I'll see you in that video.